Hi guys, getting ready to do your monthly reading. And this is for love. This is the whole month, it's an overview. That's coming in for you guys for September. So universe, what do they need to know for September? What is coming in for September and love? September. All right, September. Okay, there we go. Oh, the world. So you will have some closure, it looks like, this month. So that's nice. Um, Ten of coin. Could be with someone you were with for quite a while. Three of coin. Ace of wands. Yeah, I'm getting a feeling off your reading. Like, this is a good start. It's a do-over. Or not a do-over. It's a, a starting something new. Six of cups. Okay. They have, for some of you, some from the past. Got a lot of ideas. Nine of cups, so you're happy or you will be happy. You may have something good come in. Maybe someone from the past. Um, your hopes, you're hoping for justice. And your outcome is the seven of coin. And I read that card different ways, good or bad sometimes. So let's see. I feel like in this reading it's going to be something good that's going to finally pay off. So it looks to me like overall... You're moving ahead in the month of September. May have been through um, some hard times. This could have been a breakup. But it looks like you're getting closure this month and moving ahead. So seven of coin. Why do we have seven of coin as the outcome? What is the result of this outcome? Seven of coin. Three of cups. Yeah, you're going to be happy. So something's coming in good. And to be honest, this could be anything. I mean, this is a love reading. I feel like there is closure and moving on from something. Um, but with that outcome, you could be celebrating a move or a friendship or a new job. Or maybe you are working on a relationship with someone new or meeting someone new. So definitely doesn't have to be um, a love outcome. But it's a good outcome. So whatever path, you know, from September that you're on, say you're moving away from someone, you're, you're starting, you know, to do things on your own, maybe you're working more, or maybe you are going out with someone new, um, you have a lot of plans or ideas, stay on that path because it looks like you're headed in the right direction. Try not to look back. For some of you, I feel like you're definitely not. You're definitely moving forward. And you're definitely happy. Okay, so what is the world, please? The world. King of Coins. So some of you definitely are ending something with the Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Um, I feel it very strongly. For others of you, this could just be a relationship, a person. Uh, because there is a coin, it can represent money or work, that type of thing also. Or this can represent you. Some of you might be focusing on your finances and work, that type of thing. Just yourself in general. Um, then maybe love for the month of September. Could be um, a work month. What is the ten of coin? What is the ten of coin? What is the ten of coin? What is what? Okay, judgment. Starting something over. Well, that's nice. I guess that just means moving ahead, though. Too judgment isn't necessarily doing something over. I always say that it means just moving on, just like the world. Could be that you're feeling really low for quite a while. Maybe you felt like you're stuck in something, also wasn't horrible, I feel like, the Ten of Coin, but I feel like you're ready to move on and you're happy. What is the Three of Coin? What is the Three of Coin? Ace of Cups. All right. Well, they're definitely, because I do see here there could be someone that new coming in, and maybe you already met someone new. Maybe you are closing something and you are going to an Earth sign, and you are already raising, you know, they're rising from the dead, they're ready to go, they're moving forward. So some of you, if you haven't met someone new, you, looks like you could definitely be meeting someone in the month of, month of September here. Um, it doesn't have to, of course, be love. It can be a new, just a new um, experience or situation or something that makes you very happy. The three of coin would be working together with others. You're just Either you're doing good work is the main meaning, but 
there the people are getting along they're working together there's harmony um, so there definitely could be a situation where you're meeting someone or you're doing something and you're just really enjoying it and things are going well um, this definitely would be why your outcome is so positive Definitely could have been someone also that you may have known for a while. Definitely can be someone from the past for some of you, but this is a good past. This is someone that maybe you didn't necessarily date and went ex, just someone that you do have a good relationship with. And maybe now that they know you're single, maybe they're coming in the picture and you're excited and things are just working out for the two of you. Okay, Ace of Wands. Ace of Wands is pretty self-explanatory, but I'll put a card on it. Ace of Wands. Five of Cups. Yeah, I feel like you're getting over that energy. I feel like you were looking back. You, you're you coming out of that grayness, though. You Something new. I feel like something new and exciting is going to catch your attention, and you're going to feel good in September. You're going to move forward. So now you have two aces. Chariot. Chariot. Queen of Coin. Definitely has, has something to do with an Earth sign here. Leaving or going towards one, or if not, you are focused on just yourself. I mean, your money, your home, what's best for you. Because she's looking at that coin, and to me, I mean, that can mean not just work or money, but just what gives you stability. What do you need in your life to be happy? Okay, who is the Six of Cups? Now, these are the cards I feel need more explaining. Okay, so the Six of Cups, Six of Cups. Six of Cups. Why do they have the Six of Cups? Who or what is the Six of Cups? Some chaos or some... Now, be, because I know you're not going towards something negative, this could have definitely been from the past in both of these. Um, this could have been someone that maybe you had different viewpoints in the past. Maybe they wanted to go out with you, but you didn't want to back then, and now maybe you're giving them a chance. Because you have two fives here, and fives represent changes. They can represent, you know, chaos or sadness or just they're not usually good energies with the fives. So because these are clarifying and your outcome's so good, this is what you're coming from when I read it this way. So it definitely could be this person here that you're leaving. Could have been there's some sadness, some chaos with this energy as, when I read it across, you know, as I read it across. You're closing this. You're done. And this is what you're coming from. And now you're moving forward to something better. You could be, though, with this energy, talking to someone from your past. Um, this could be someone who maybe wants to date you or go out with you and you don't want to with the Five of Wands. Because I don't consider the Five of Wands a really horrible card. It's just two, you have different viewpoints than someone else. So I could read it that way also. Or maybe you're not you're not sure what to do next because Seven of Cups has kind of that same energy. So what is the Seven of Cups? What is the Seven of Cups? Why do they have the Seven of Cups? Ace of Swords, New Beginning. So you're going to get clarity. So you might have a run-in with someone from your past here. Could be anyone. And it doesn't necessarily have to be your past. This could be someone you already know, a friend. Um, they could have just already been in your life. But... If it's not that, you're, you're getting some type of like clarity. This is this kind of confused energy, like what to do next, I don't know. But at the same time, you got clarity with the Ace of Swords. So you will have some type of clarity and understanding going ahead. It looks like September is going to be a good month because you now have three Aces, even though some these two are clarifiers. This is, um, you need to get clear about something with the Seven of Cups because this is you right now. So this could be you're not sure, you've got a lot of ideas, you're confused. Um, Cause I feel like you, and you'll be dealing with two separate situations. And so maybe there's a conflict between in your heart and mind. Uh, maybe you're not sure if you should be dating one person. Maybe someone's coming back, you know, you have two options. So maybe you're, figure out what to do okay what is the nine of cups nine of cups overall you're happy that's what i'm saying i feel like nothing that's coming in is bad it's minor if anything nine of cups okay nine of cups please clarify nine of cups 
Nine of Cups. Broken Heart. Yeah. Again, because of your outcome and the cards, this is saying, again, that you're coming away from this type of energy. You're feeling good now. Something's going to make spark your interest, make you happy. Definitely can be someone new. Could be um, dating with some of but this card also. So I feel like it's going to happen suddenly with some of these cards. I feel like you're going to just be going along, doing your thing. And all of a sudden, something good happens. Like with the Ace of Swords and the Nine of Cups, it's like some type of clarity. Could be in love, but could be in um, just your life in general, something. Okay, what is justice? Because you're hoping for justice. Um, okay, justice. Two of Wands, knowing where to go. Sometimes for me, justice is about wanting justice, revenge on someone in the past for something they did. I don't see you, though, having a lot of, like, wanting that, though, in this reading. Justice is just you want something, you know, what's best for you. It's good. Two of Wands would be which way you're going. What are you deciding to do? You want, you want what's best for you. I kind of also feel like there's someone who, around you who also might be giving you advice, maybe bad advice, or they might be confusing you or telling you what you think, what they think you should be doing also. <clears throat> Excuse me. For some of you. Okay, so your outcome's good. Seven of coins, something's paying off. May not pay off in September, but you're, it looks like you're headed towards something good. You put time and effort into something without, throughout the month, and you're happy. Three of Cups is being happy. It can mean dating. It can mean just going out with friends or doing something fun. Maybe some of you are planning some type of uh, get-together. Some of you might be going to something along that, planning something, and you m will meet someone there with that combination. So be on the lookout for that also. So that could be where I felt like, I feel like for some of you it's sudden. Could be going out, party, um, a get-together, you know, any, anything, a wedding. And you're going to meet someone there for a few of you, definitely. Okay, so the outcome's good. What else can you tell me about the outcome for the month? Outcome's good. Okay. Two of Cups. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Some of you guys are definitely meeting someone new. I feel like there's someone that you already know or someone who may be asking you out and you don't really want to do it and it, there's some, some chaos around the situation. But others of you, you're going to meet someone quickly while you're out having fun. I think you're going to be focused kind of on your work or money or something along that line and then this is going to hit here in the month of September. I think it's going to be very surprising. I am going to clarify this Six of Cups and Five of Wands again because I'm not really... Because what is the Six of Cups and Five of Wands? Is there any advice? Is there something you want them to know? Okay. I just had the Three of Wands flip around in the deck, but it didn't come out. So if if you are considering going back to someone in the past, don't. Look forward. Look to the future. No one's worth going back to. And I don't think it's a bad person. It's just someone that they're saying just don't, don't get involved. Okay, but what else can you tell me? Six of Cups, Five of Wands. Six of Cups, Five of Wands. Seven of Wands, defend yourself. Yeah, that's a feeling. Like, it's not horrible energy, but I feel like there's someone around you trying to get you to do something, go out with them. Could be just advice from family and friends or something along that line. It almost feels like a separate issue because I can see here, again, you guys have several things going on this month as far as closure, moving ahead, working on something, and then meeting someone new. All right, so that's what I see for your month. Let's just for fun put a card on the Ace of Cups. I want to see if a, just for some of you something comes out new or interesting. What is this Ace of Cups? What is this Ace of Cups? What is this Ace of Cups? Six of Coin. Okay, so definitely Six of Coin is about balance in relationships. Um, someone giving or you giving. 
So it's definitely a nice clarifying card for the Ace of Cups in this reading. So it could be someone, again, very generous. So it could, could be a relationship that has more balance to it than maybe what you've been used to. Could be someone buying a drink while you're out also is what I'm seeing here with this combination. So overall, good month. So keep moving ahead, you guys, and have a great week and take care.